Okay, this is a lesson on thirds, which are partials. Remember, a chord is three pitches played at the same time, or in the banjo with a roll pattern, you would be fretting or have at least three different pitches. For this, we're, our main concern is the third and the second string. Okay, and we are going to introduce the box roll. So, third and second string open. The next shape is basically your D7 shape. So, second finger, second fret, third string. First finger, first fret, second string. So, and we're just using for right now, thumb and index. So I want you to get comfortable. So it's going to be 2-1. You slide it up two frets. So you're at 4-3. Now your second finger never leaves the third string. So when we go up to the fifth fret, we need to bring down our third finger for the fifth fret of the second string. So they will be tight together like that. So second finger, third finger are at the fifth fret of the third and second strings. And then we take that, slide it up two frets. So we're at seven, seven. And then we go back to our D7 shape and we're coming up here, which is 9 8, 9th fret, 8th fret. Then we go up two frets to 11 10. And then we go up to the 12th fret with both fingers, same fret. So, what we're really expanding on is the G major scale. So open third string, G, A, B, C, D, okay, E, F sharp, G. Now when we bring in our ring, first finger, sorry, and it'll be comfortable moving up from open strings up to the 12th fret and remember let your markers help you out that's why they're there these inlays are there as little road signs to where you are first third fifth seventh ten twelve okay so that's your left hand pitch stuff Okay, once you are comfortable with that, we're going to introduce the box roll. So originally I had you going 3 2, 3 2, 3 2, 3 2. Okay, we are going to add the open strings, the fifth string and the first string. So the roll pattern open G, 3, 2, 5. One, those are our strings. So, second string played with the index finger, first string played with your third finger. Almost everything played on the first string will be played with your third finger of your right hand. So, when you get that roll going, it should sound like this three, two, five, one.
So it's kind of a roll, four note roll pattern, so you probably got to play it twice if they're eighth notes and we're in four, so it'd be like one E and a two E and a. Once you're smooth with that, then you are going to incorporate the fretting hand. pinch on three and two, pinch meaning you're playing two strings at the same time. So I just did four notes then change, but you can do eight notes. So Now, some of these partials, if you just play them by themselves, they might sound a little strange, but that's because it's part of a bigger picture. We're focusing on the scale going up. And remember, not all notes are equal. So you want to be able to maybe sometimes bring out the third string, which is the G major scale, sometimes bring out the second string of the scale. So not the scale, but the pattern. Like I just did there. This time I will bring out the third string. So with anything with finger picking, whether it's guitar, banjo, you want to be able to bring out different notes from whatever pattern you might be picking or playing. So work on all that and eventually you'll get it so it's like... Try to be as musical as you can. Try to be pretty in your sound. Listen to your tone. Make sure that your fingering is clean and precise because the right hand pattern is the same all the time. So you shouldn't need to really focus on that visually. You will focus on it with your, your hearing because you're going to, that's what's that's the money maker. That's what's making the sound happen. So don't, you know, worry so much about looking at it. Your hand will memorize the shape. If you need to look at your left hand, that's totally cool. And you can do just little parts of it. Come up with your own little picking pattern harmony thing. So, any questions on that? Give me a holler. Here it is again, one last time.